active duty troops on principle, you're saying you would support it? As a last resort. So in this Monday meeting with the president, when the defense secretary, who has now publicly said that he opposed using the Insurrection Act, you said what to the president? I don't think uh, the Secretary of Defense said he opposed it. I think he said uh, that it was a last resort, and he didn't think it was necessary. I think we all agree that it's a last resort, but it's ultimately the president's decision. The, the reporting is completely false on this. Do you believe there is systemic racism in law enforcement? I think there's racism in the United States still, but I don't think that the uh, law enforcement system is systemically racist. I understand the, the distrust, however, of the African-American community, given the history in this country. Uh, I think we have to recognize that for most of our history, our institutions were explicitly racist. Since uh, the 1960s, I think we've been in a phase of reforming our institutions and making sure that they're in sync with our laws and aren't fighting a rear guard action to impose inequities. And you think that's working? I think I think the reform is a difficult task, but I think it is working and progress has been made. I think one of the best examples is the military. The military used to be explicitly racist institution, and now I think it's in the vanguard uh, of, of bringing the races together and providing equal opportunities. Opportunity. I think law enforcement has been going through the same process. Do you think there should be some tweaking of the rules, reduced immunity, to go after some of the bad cops? I don't think you need to reduce immunity uh, to, to go after the bad cops because that would result certainly in, in police pulling back. It's, you know, policing is the toughest job in the country. And I, and I frankly think that we have generally uh, the vast overwhelming majority of police are good people. They're civic-minded people who believe in serving the public. They do so bravely. They do so righteously. But and the bad cops. I, th I think that there are instances of bad cops. And I think we have to be careful about automatically assuming that the actions of an individual necessarily mean that their organization is rotten. All organizations have people who engage in misconduct. And you sometimes have to be careful as to when you ascribe that to the whole organization and when it really is some errant member who isn't following the rules. But doesn't the opening the pattern of practice investigation to a place like Minneapolis, where there are questions about the broader issues with policing, it wasn't just the one officer. Wouldn't that answer that question? Well, that's exactly the reaction that I think has been a problem in the past, uh, which is it just, you know, again, just reacting to this incident by immediately putting the department under investigation doesn't necessarily result in, 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 in improving the situation. But I would say that in the first instance, the governor has announced an investigation of the police department. The governor, Governor Waltz, a Democratic governor, is investigating the police department. The Attorney General of Minnesota is looking into the police department. We stand ready uh, to act if we think it's necessary, but I don't think uh, uh, necessarily starting a, a pattern of practice investigation at this stage is warranted. Another thing is we have to look at some of the evidence. I mean, people, you know, the fact is that the criminal justice system at both the state and the federal level moved instantaneously on this, and we moved quickly with our investigation, but we still have to look into uh, what kind of use of force policies uh, are used in that department, what the training has been, and things like that. That's not something we can do overnight. Coming up after our break, the Attorney General tells